Welcome back everyone. You may be in a situation where your iPhone for some reason just keeps restarting no matter what you do with it. You know, it just keeps coming into the Apple logo, keeps turning off and keeps turning back on. Now there's a couple of different ways to fix this. I can tell you throughout the last several years of owning iPhones, I ran into this issue one billion times and almost every single time I've, you know, been in this situation, the last thing I'm going to talk about is a way to fix it, but it's my last thing I would recommend doing before if you want to maintain all your data on your device. The very first thing I would recommend doing is literally just plugging your iPhone into a charger and just letting it charge overnight. Anytime I ran into this issue, you will not believe how many times it's just been fixed by doing something like this. For a lot of these older iPhones and sometimes even newer iPhones, it will, so for some reason on some specific software versions, it'll go ahead and not give you that specific, you know, battery icon. It'll literally just go ahead and just boot into the Apple logo and then just boot back off and then just kind of cycle that over and over again. So you want to make sure your iPhone is charged. If it's not charged at all, then you pretty much know your problem. So what you want to do is charge up your iPhone, make sure it's all good and just leave it on charge. If that doesn't help it, the next thing you want to do is essentially try to go ahead and see if you can force restart your iPhone. So as I mentioned before, sometimes if you're installing a software or whatever the case is, these can cause some problems. So what you want to do and what does it for me, I don't know why, you want to hold the volume up button and the side button while your phone is boot looping. So you want to go ahead and just literally just hold down both these buttons. It's going to take like a couple seconds. You want to keep holding them down so you don't want to let go even when you get into this little you know page. Keep holding it down until your phone for, you know fully restarts and then from there, you want to see if your phone is working. Sometimes this may actually end up fixing it. As I mentioned before, there's no guarantees, but those are things that actually help it out for me and it may actually help out for you. Now, if you're in a specific situation where none of those things just work, the secondary things, which is the last thing I'm going to hit on, is the thing that may actually end up fixing it for you. And this is the thing that actually helps me out a lot. What you want to do is you essentially want to put your phone in, you know, hard reset mode, aka, you know, reset mode and restore mode. So this will basically delete everything off your iPhone if you don't have a backup. So if you're able to update your phone or backup anything, then do it. If you're not able to, then this is still a way to access a lot of your stuff. But as I mentioned before, a lot of your apps already have most of your stuff, you know, backed up anyway. So what you want to do is you want to follow the on-screen instructions I have right now for your specific iPhone. Some of them involve like kicking, clicking up, clicking down, and then the side button, but follow the instructions I have on your specific screen on your specific device, and you want to follow those through. At that point, you want to plug in your iPhone to the, you know, computer, PC, or whatever that has iTunes installed, and you just want to let iTunes discover your phone once that happens, they'll pretty much tell you like, oh, you know, we have an iPhone in restore mode. And basically, they'll allow you to go ahead and restore your iPhone or reset your iPhone, update it to the latest software. And that should end up fixing the issue. It's going to take like an hour to get all of it set up and to reset up your iPhone. But at the end of it, you should have an iPhone that's fully functional. This is the thing that's helped out for me time and time again. It may help it out for you. But like I mentioned, this is the thing that helped out for me regardless of anything else that happened. If you do this and it still doesn't work, you may actually have a hardware problem on your iPhone. And I would recommend contacting Apple and having them look at it. But ultimately, those are the things that help out for me, to be honest. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, everything else. I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.